And the last thing we're going to learn about uh, basic file operation is this uh, this thing called open options. Because uh, right now, uh, whenever we open a file, it's going to destroy the old one, and maybe we, we don't want to do that, or maybe we'd like to uh, append to the file. You know, just add uh, add a little bit without uh, deleting everything, and uh, that is what uh, this is for. And this uh, this actually uses the builder pattern which uh, we already learned, which is great. And you can see um, an example of it here. It's got this, uh, you know, it makes, it starts out with new, uh, it ends with open, and uh, it's got this, you know, read, write, create, and you, uh, you select uh, true or false. And uh, you can see um, uh, the, the builder pattern here, where it, uh, here it's doing a, a mute self. Um, so it's passing itself on. Um, let's see, uh, new, um, then there's uh, open is the last one, and you can tell it's the last one because it's a uh, it's giving us a result uh, with a file inside of it, and uh, and then you know this read is uh, uh, it's passing on uh, mute self uh, truncate uh, is passing on mute self and write is passing on mute mute self. So the basic thing is uh, open options new, and if you use a uh, a new it's going to uh, set everything to false and then if you add some other things on it's going to pass on self until you finally get to open and then uh, give the file name and then it's going to be a, uh, a result so the way we're going to do it with our uh, our Kelvin um, Kelvin file here so uh, what we're going to do is uh, so you'll remember up to this point we have already created this uh, this Calvin with dad. So let's uh, let's try to uh, add some stuff to it. So what we can do is uh, let's see, take this out, uh, leave the leave the OK down there because we'll always need that. And so we will do the mute Calvin file again and open options new. Uh, always start with that. And then uh, what are we going to do? Uh, what we would like to append. So append is. This option, when true, means that writes will append to a file instead of overwriting. So that's what we want. We would like to add to it instead of uh, instead of deleting it. So we'll say uh, append uh, true uh, dot append true. And what else would we like? Uh, how about read? And read is uh, uh, will uh, indicate that the file should be readable if opened. Uh, okay, let's do that. Uh, let's give it uh, true and uh, what else would we like there's another one called uh, open so let's see what that is um, opens a pile a file at, at, the, at a path and that's right that is the uh, that's the end so you, uh, you open and then uh, that's where you actually specify the, the, uh, the file name so Kelvin with dad.txt and then you do the uh, the final you know question mark, and then uh, we are good to go. And then uh, so let's do a Kelvin file. Uh, you know it should be should be open by now. And let's use uh, let's use write all, which you remember has uh, has you pass in some bytes, and we'll add something to uh, to what his dad uh, Kelvin's dad is saying here. So he. He continued by saying, uh, and it was a pretty greeny color for a while there too, like that, um, like that, and we'll give it a new line. Actually, it's an American comic, so uh, he writes color like that. And then, um, and then to make this a little bit easier, let's. Uh, Let's bring in a macro. Uh, where are you? Standard right. So here's another uh, another cool way to uh, to do things easily. Um, instead of this uh, right all, we can uh, we can just use this uh, right um, right macro. And uh, what that does, uh, you see this macro used a lot. So uh, it's good to uh, bring it in now and uh, show you how it works. And that is just uh, it'll write to uh, the mutable something and then. Uh, and it's going to take uh, either bytes or uh, or a stir, and then uh, give it the question mark again. So let's write some more stuff this time with the uh, write macro. So we'll say write, uh, and it is a mute uh, Kelvin file, and then uh, 
Kelvin says, uh, that's pretty weird, like that. And uh, new line, and then uh, one more. Uh, then his dad says, let's see, mute Kelvin file again. We're going to write it to it. And he says, well, truth is stranger than fiction, like that. And we do the same thing. We do the, uh, the question mark and the uh, semicolon. And then finally, uh, at the end, we're going to uh, um, going to uh, read this into a string. So let's uh, let's do that. So let's uh, print it out. We're going to uh, rather we're going to print it here. And uh, the way we can uh, turn it into a string is, uh, of course, we use this uh, fs uh, read to string, which uh, we saw last time. And uh, read to string is going to take a file name, which is uh, Calvin with dad.txt. And of course, that could fail. So we're going to do that. And that should print uh, this plus this plus this plus this. And let's make sure that this works. Mm hmm. That's right. Should bring in open options. Uh, FS open options. Let's try that again. Uh, let's see. Did I not uh, put a question mark there? Let's do that. You can see it's uh, it's not. Uh, it's just complaining a little bit. It's not uh, panicking or anything. And uh, there we go. So here, uh, so this is uh, how far we were before. And then thanks to uh, open options, we've uh, we've managed to append. Uh, we can we made it so it's readable. Open it up and then uh, added this, and then added this, and then uh, added this. Uh, so that is uh, and that is actually uh, the end of the book. Uh, there's there's one chapter after that, after this, where I mentioned that uh, there's something cool called uh, Cargo Doc, but uh, I don't think it deserves its own uh, video. Uh, if you have Cargo installed and you have um, um, you want to see like the documentation for your code, uh, all you have to do is type tart Cargo Doc, and it's going to uh, make it for you in the exact same format as uh, as we're used to here. And if you want to uh, open it in your browser, you just add this. Uh, this open flag and uh, and then it'll just pop up right in front of you and uh, so if you uh, and if you want to see some other flags you can uh, search for that because there are ways to um, you can specify like if you don't want external crates to show up in your documentation or you know all, all sorts of uh, things like that and uh, one other cool thing about uh, cargo doc is that when you have the um, what is it the uh, there we go. When you have like a example code, so let's say you have uh, you know like x equals seven or something like that, um, you can um, it'll run the uh, it'll run the example code as a as a test as well. Um, so it's uh, anyway. There's a, there's a bunch of uh, cool stuff about uh, cargo docs that you should uh, search for. But uh, anyway, that is uh, <clears throat> that is the end of this book and. Uh, what, uh, what video is this? Video number 186. Uh, so I hope you had fun and uh, learned a bit of rest. And uh, after this, uh, you know, uh, maybe you're ready to check out some, uh, some, some other uh, streamers and then uh, see what they're doing or, you know, build your own stuff. Um, so uh, anyway, cool uh, to have you uh, here. And um, I will uh, maybe, maybe record some uh, other rest videos in the, in the future. So see you around.